tight, singular man in custody here, it's hard to imagine that Manson once had aspirations as a singer-songwriter in Hollywood, even going so far as to record some of his music. Look at your game, girl. But that music may have indirectly led to the mayhem which followed. Vincent Bugliosi was the man who prosecuted Manson and his family members. In his best-selling work on the events of 1969, Bugliosi theorized that Manson's anger came as a result of the rejection of his music by Doris Day's son, record producer Terry Melcher. Melcher once lived at the house where Tate and the others were murdered. It's a theory Manson rejects. Terry Melcher came to me. I didn't come to Terry Melcher. He came to me with money in his hand. He offered me. I didn't ask him. I wasn't knocking someone's door down. I was running from that. When I got out, I was in that. I was already through that. I had that. I had the studio. I went to the studio. I went to Vox Studios. I had it all. And I looked at it, and I said, this is a bigger jail than I just got out of. I don't want to take my time going to work. I got a motorcycle and a sleeping bag and 10 or 15 girls. What the hell I want to go off into and go to work for? Work for what? Money? I got all the money in the world. I'm the king, man. I run the underworld, guy. I decide who's does what and where they do it at. What am I going to run around and act like I'm some teeny bopper somewhere for somebody else's money? I make the money, man. I roll the nickels. The game is mine. I deal the cards. Sad, sad game. Show it to my Ho, ho, you are. I don't know my union. I know how do you are. Your heart. Yeah, that's, it. that's what I sing. I sing, you know, just, you know, just however I feel. But Manson's biggest legacy was not his music. It was the fear which gripped Hollywood following the killings. Was it an intention of yours to scare the Hollywood community? Hollywood's been afraid since it began. Hollywood knows Hollywood. Anybody that knows the garbage cans in the alley understands Hollywood. Look out, hell, this can Finally, after two decades, Charles Manson remains an enigma. Outlaw, cult leader, convicted murderer, he is the man who most terrorized Hollywood. People look at you today, 20 years later, and they still have no idea what you're about. Tell me in a sentence who you are. Nobody. I'm nobody. I'm a tramp, a bum, a hobo. I'm a boxcar and a jug of wine. And a straight razor if you get too close to me. Charles.